Hi folks, how are you all doing today? Today we will be learning about um, iframe, which is a very important tag, right? So what is iframe, how to use iframe and how can you embed something into your web page using iframe and all. We'll just uh, see all of it, okay? So let's quickly get into this thing. If you have not been watching my series yet, please do go back to my channel and uh, subscribe to my channel and watch the playlist. There are uh, so many videos, right? And there is so much more content which is going to come up, right? So subscribe for uh, the latest updates, also the content which is already uploaded. So everything is very much new and fresh. You can absolutely get the content uh, in a very precise manner, right? So yeah. This is all like on, on point I will be speaking about. So yes, if you like my videos, please do subscribe to my channel. Please do like, comment, share and subscribe also. Oh, I mean to say I'm again saying that. Okay, <laughs> got it. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get back, get back. Starting off with iframe today, right? So what is iframe? Iframe is inline frame, okay? So basically, inline frame is used to embed a page into your HTML document, okay? When I say embed a page, it can be any page, right? So you can embed a YouTube video, you can embed um, you know, Wikipedia page, let's suppose if you want to, right? So likewise, you can actually get any page, yeah? Or any document into your HTML document, okay? So if you want to embed something, then you will be using iframe, inline frame, okay? So let's quickly see whatever I'm speaking about, right? In inline frame, you will be actually using uh, source and uh, you can uh, basically like uh, write the title also, okay? So let's just, let's just quickly... So let's say, uh, let's suppose I'm just creating um, H1 tag first. I will write iframe demonstration right so now i'll write iframe okay so within this you can write src basically so the link you have to get the link right i will just get uh, abdul kalam wait shit so i think i just got images thing right um i mistakenly clicked on that yeah wikipedia like i'm just uh, searching for hpj abdul kalam because you know uh, like he's a famous personality right and who who doesn't like kalam so he's one of the greatest persons and personalities right so yeah i'm just getting this link okay uh what exactly we're doing i'm just copying the link over here on the address bar right let's get here get back here in the source i'm just pasting this link okay and then if you want to give any uh title so you can absolutely give a title saying the description of it right so okay i'm just writing abdul kalam right now let's see what happens, okay? Let's run this and check what happens. Yeah, can you see this? Like you can see that within this small window, you have that Wikipedia page open here. Can you see Abdul Kalam, sir, picture is there and uh, whatever was on this page is absolutely visible on this here also right on this window also right it is very small very much small because i've just given the link and i just gave the title but we didn't specify any size of the window right so definitely you have to give the size of the window also okay if not whatever is the default size it just captures that okay so let's say uh, i'll just give width right so width let's suppose i will give 600 okay and height 600 again right let's just check what happens with this so it will be creating a 600 by 600 window and within that window you will be getting the page right let me just show you on the new tab here yes so this is how it is okay 
so you can see the wikipedia now 600 by 600 window is there okay and within this window you can see the complete entire page contents etc okay so the complete thing will be there and you have a scroll bar also because in 600 by 600 window basically the complete page cannot be allocated right that's why you have the scroll bar over here okay so now um, you can absolutely see the thing properly right you can increase the width more okay so that's possible you can increase the height more yes that's also possible okay so it's not like mandatorily you only have to use 600 and 600 you can absolutely change it according to your own wish okay that is fine but yes this is how it works like right so iframe is inline frame okay where we are embedding the wikipedia's page into your html document correct you're embedding the page this page into this document here okay that is what is called as embedding embedding means getting some other thing and placing it into your web page okay that is embedding okay and using anchor tag we usually do linking okay so embedding and linking is are different completely embedding means getting something into your web page and placing it over there right and linking means you're just linking the thing so if you have to get the source of it you just again will have to click on the link and go back there right it will not be open in the same page right so of course you can open it on the same tab that's not the issue but the thing is uh, like you will have to you can't really access it on your own web page linking things okay so that is what is the difference between iframe and uh, this one okay now let's suppose if you want to embed any uh, code.org things right absolutely you can do that okay let me just quickly show you uh, the code.org projects which we have created earlier right so in code.org we have created so many projects right so you can actually get those projects and you can um, you know embed them over here right not all projects you can get you can get sprite lab projects i think it's sprite lab or um play lab so some lab we can get right and app lab projects we can definitely get let's suppose i just have this timer app here i'm just clicking on that how can you get those things right you need not manually write iframe tag for embedding your code talk projects okay so you can just um, copy the link from here and you paste it over there. That's it. That's how you embed the things. Okay. Let me quickly show you how to do that. So once you get the page, right, click on share. Okay. Click on show advanced options. So click on embed. Here you have the iframe tag, right? So just select the thing, copy the thing from here, come back here. So I'll just paste this after this one. Uh, I'll write to break tags so that uh, I have some gap there, right? Now let's click on run, okay? So let's go here. Let's reload the page and I will show you what happens now. So you can, it is still loading. So once this load, uh, once this loads, you will get the app here. Whoa, it's loading the app here. Wow, wow, isn't it? So it actually, you can actually run it over here. Do you know this? So when you click on run, it it actually works. So it starts the timer now. See, it also stops the timer. It resets the timer back, right? So it re, uh, starts again. So this is all. This is all possible. It happens. Yes. Yes. Okay. This is how you can embed uh, code or projects into your um, web page. Okay. This is quite simple, isn't it? So if you have created something and if you want to uh, place those apps in your portfolio, when you are creating your portfolio website, let's suppose. So if you want to place them, absolutely you can do that. You can display your apps. It's very much simple, right? So um, let's explore this iframe tag, which we have copied from, uh, from code.org, right? So see, there's width, there's height, okay? So you have the style. We set border zero pixels. That's why you do not see any border around this one. But here you absolutely can give border also, okay? I will show that to you. We have the source link over here. That's it. So that's how they, they just uh, gave it and we can uh, copy paste it, right? So this is all, this is all, okay? 
and uh, let's suppose I will just show you how to write give borders, right? So just write style, write border, okay? And then you can give uh, like the usual border property we use, no? So it's just the same thing here, right? I'll give three pixel solid blue border, okay? So that you can see that properly now. So I've run this, so let's just re-execute this thing. So you can see this blue border around it now. This is it. This is how simple it is giving borders and all, right? Not only borders, you um, you actually can uh, do something like, if you don't want a border, you can just say border zero pixels, right? So this is also possible, right? So this is how we can embed our uh, code.org projects into the into our web page, basically, right? So now we understood that how to use iframe, how to give the link, and how to get the things on our page, how to get um, how to give within height, right? How to give the title, okay? So and then along with this, uh, you now know how exactly you can remove the borders, right? So, or you can give the borders, okay? So all these things we have understood. Now let's see how to get the uh, YouTube video, right? That is quite important. Let's just, um, let's write break tag here, break tag here. Now let's go to YouTube. So let's click on YouTube. Oh, wait. Um, um, I think I'll directly open YouTube. So let's quickly just search for my channel, Folks Hub. Yeah, this is it. Let's suppose I just want to embed this video. Okay. So I'm just clicking on that here. We will be understanding about how to run that. So I'll just start, stop that from playing. Okay. I can like my video. <laughs> uh, so right click on this. Right. So just. Yeah. So when you right click on the video, you actually have this copy embed code. Okay. Just click on that copy embed code. It copied the thing. Come back to Replit. You just have to right click on it. Okay. When you right click on it, you will get the menu options there. So I'm just pasting that copy embed link. Let's explore this iframe tag also here. Right. iframe with this given height is given. Source is given. Title is given. Given. Frame border zero. Basically, it will not have any border now. I love accelerometer, autoplay, clipboard, write, encrypted media, gyroscope, picture in picture. Basically, all these are sensor kind of a things, right? So sensors, accelerometer is a sensor, right? Gyroscope is a sensor, picture in picture we are allowing, autoplay we are allowing, encrypted media, okay? Clipboard, write that we are allowing, okay? And also we are giving allow full screen option here, okay? So basically, this is all like you need not manually write it. You can get it from YouTube video if you want to embed a YouTube video. Okay. So this is how simple it is, right? And uh, let's quickly just go here and check out how your YouTube video turns out on this thing, right? So you already have some manually given, I mean, no, not manually given. Uh, commonly given the within height is already present with this thing, right? So you can easily get that thing. So see? This is the within height of the YouTube video when you embed it, okay? So if you want to give borders, you can absolutely give borders. Let's quickly try that, right? So if I say frame border 2, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, you can see a frame border 2 is given. So there's a very small border over here Two, I think, I don't think you can see it. So let's suppose I will just say 10. I'll run it. Let's reload the page and check. So 10 is 
it's it's not working but yeah there's there's a the slight border given right so you have a frame border but 10 is not working however okay so yeah let's just put it back to zero we don't uh, we, re we really don't want any border frame border right so let's say this now we have embedded the video youtube video onto your web page okay so this is how you can embed uh, youtube videos also apps from code.org web pages right now now let's see um let's see the sprite lab project let's check this out share so then sprite lab projects don't work so i think it's a uh, play lab project shooting game let's get this thing so let's click on share so you do not have the play lab thing also but some other projects should also work i i particularly don't remember that but yes so your uh, other lab projects also should work okay so yeah this this is all about your um, embedding things right so let's quickly check out the game lab thing if it works out right we have embed options here yeah so yes that's game lab thing okay i don't know what is this project but maybe we can just link it and check out so yeah let's try to break tags here okay so i'm just pasting this here let's run it so it's basically the same thing with height style and source okay let's quickly go here just run it over here i'll just close all other options tabs So it's it's loading whoa whoa there's something which is happening here cool wow can you see it it says you can run it okay i don't know what is the project but yeah you can see that it is actually giving the thing right this is it this is how you can get your uh, app lab projects game lab projects web pages and youtube videos okay so this is how your iframe tag works and i think absolutely this is cool right this is the coolest tag ever i really like this tag i don't know why not only these there are other things which you can embed right uh, maps also you can embed so i will uh, quickly show you the maps part also uh, google maps so let's just click on this so you can uh, just search for something like let's say i will just say hyderabad so when you search for something right you can actually embed this map into your web page now when you click on just share so just click on share right you have this embed a map here right here you have the copy html just copy that thing it will actually copy the iframe tag only okay so i'm just clicking on uh, enter let's give two break tags and let's paste it so can you see this is the source width is given height is given style is given i love full screen i'm just giving empty uh, not me so it's like loading lazy referer policy no referer when downgrade okay so this is all these are all the options which are uh, present from the copy thing which we have done right so let's reload the page and check out what happens over here
so you can see this is the map here okay so you can also see whatever is the title it is giving you here you can zoom in the map right you can zoom out in the map okay so everything all the options are possible over here okay so we are, i have zoomed out so much right so you can zoom in zoom out whatever you want you can do in this right so you can actually drag and check out the other stuff other parts over here in hyderabad right so this is all this is how you can embed a map also okay not only map uh, if you are creating any chatbot on the google thing so it's like dialog box right so there's a there's a tool called as dialog not uh, not dialog box sorry it is um there's a tool for creating uh, chatbots okay so i don't remember the name but yeah you have you can actually create chatbots using uh, google's uh, tool so you can also get those projects and you can link them over here okay so yes this is all about our today's session related to iframe i hope you and you all enjoyed this and you all now know what to embed and how to embed so you can also see if there is any other thing you want to embed if there is any embed uh, a map like you can see here in everything i just saw this embed thing right when you get this embed thing you can just click on copy and you can paste it in your web page to embed that particular thing right so this is how simple it is uh, you know to you manually can create your iframe tag also like for wikipedia there's no embed link but we have created it manually right so you can do e uh, that or this okay both are fine okay so this is all about your um, i frame tag will be meeting in the next session with another thing okay so until then please do subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video guys bye bye please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks ha huh? i'll be meeting you all in the next video bye bye and have a great day all thank you so much for watching this video